Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I went shopping, surprise, surprise. I really gotta stop, it's kind of a bad habit. I might be obsessed, it might be a little bit of a shopaholic when it comes to Harry Potter. However, I kind of grabbed this item on what I think is a great steal. So it had to be done, you see. Basically, if you didn't know, Harry Potter exhibition existed way before the Harry Potter exi exhibition existed now. So it was a completely different company in the early 2000s up until about like 2016 or something like that. So I've been to it twice. Um, there was one exhibition in Japan that was slightly different from my understanding to what the one I went to back in the day in 2010 and 2011. These items in question came from the Shinjuku? I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, it was a Harry Potter exhibition in Tokyo around 2007. So almost 20 years ago, these items are rare. I don't think I have the original boxes for them, which is a shame, but at least I have the items, which is pretty hard to find. Supposedly that these wands, the original deals, are supposed to be made out of wood. And supposed to ha smell like wood. So I'm hoping that these are the original ones and not a replica from like Noble Collection. I mean, I can't smell anything, but maybe that's because I just can't smell anything. It doesn't smell like wood, like wood to me, but it sure feels like wood. Uh, the copyright information is correct. It does say WBE04, which is the correct year for these wands, even though they were sold in 2007. See, it says WEB, WBE, I should say. So this is Harry's wand, aka Daniel Radcliffe. This was the wand that they started using in the third movie. So in the original first two movies, they all had like generic wands. And then in the third one, they all got personalities, basically. So this one is literally like a branch. So this is Harry's wand. That's the first one. Cool. So this is Ron Weasley's wand. Now, I've never actually owned a Noble Collection version of Ron Weasley's wand, except for like a toy one, not even a replica. So this is my first actual replica wand. And this is definitely not a Noble Collection wand. It is very much a wooden type wand. But there again is the inf copyright information. You see the wand, how much of a wand work it is as compared to like Noble Collection. So there it is. It's a bit used, but uh, considering the age and the rarity, pretty cool. Now we can go and open up Hermione Granger's wand and I can actually compare that one because I have a 2004 Noble Collection wand. Here is Hermione Granger's wand, and here is the copyright information right there, 2004. This is very much a wooden wand. I can't smell the wood. I watched a video, and this guy was explaining how each wand came in their own individual boxes, and they smelt of wood. I can't smell anything, but I'm slightly sick, so maybe that's why. However... We can also, like I said, compare this to Hermione Granger's wand. Now I have the Ollivander wand box for this one, which is the original version that they used to sell them like this. And this one was first released in 2004, and that's the copyright information that I actually have on this wand. So it's a very old version of it, the original version. And it was originally retailed at $29.50. Now I can't remember when I bought this. This had, I know for sure that I had it before 2011 because that's when I went to the exhibition and I grabbed Lord Voldemort's wand there. And he's also an Ollivander wand box that I have. But I can't remember what year it was, but it was definitely before 2011. I don't even remember the price. But let's just open this up so you get like that. That's the inside of it. Every Nova Collection item comes with a little certificate saying it's certified. And then look at that. You have the nice pretty stuff like this. Pretty pretty. Now, I threw these in inside of it years ago, just like little styrofoam stuff to help keep the wand even more secure. But this is Mighty Granger's Noble Collection. Inside of it is a really nice green velvet. Very nice, right? This is definitely a different kind of wand. So let's just, this is Noble Collection, right? I have to keep reminding you guys that because they do look very similar. However, look at the copyright information. See that? It's like printed on it. So that's one. The color is a lot different. 
And I think their sizes are different too. Let's figure that out. Oh, nope, they're about the same. But do you see the difference in it? How sleek and shiny. This is Noble Collection right here. This one. Woo. Noble Collection. This one is the Wood and Light one from Japan. So that's pretty cool. Look at the vines on this thing. There we go, that's about even, I think. Straight enough. Alright, so there we are. There are all the vines. Now, are these about the same in size? Yeah, they're just about the same in size. See? That's pretty cool. Alright, so we're gonna put my. Noble Collection one back in its box for safekeeping, but that was just a really quick comparison to make sure that it is authentic. And these ones are the original versions, just sadly I don't have the original boxes. I have the original white box that came with my Hermione Granger, so there it is. And N7021 is Hermione Granger's wand, Ollivander version. Alright, so the next thing we have to open up, here it is! Wow, this is nice, very cool. So it is kind of dusty in use but you know it kind of adds a little bit of charm to it but here is the wand display so look at that it even says harry potter right there and it has the names of each character and where their wands go so you would slide the wands in here and they would just stand up straight like that now this is actual wood i can't smell anything I don't know what that guy was talking about. How do you smell the wood? I don't smell anything. Anyway, and then here's the copyright information. 2004. So this is, this could use a bit of a cleaning, to be completely honest with you. I'll dust it off real nice. But a lot of people have, have put their wands in like that, but that's pretty much how you destroy the wand tip, right? So this is basically how you would display it. Uh, you would honestly just have them out like this so here is the exclusive to Japan exhibition in 2007 Harry Potter wand stand made out of wood which is not really normal anymore because most replicas are made out of resin however nowadays you can buy some wooden wands from the Harry Potter shop they are coming back but they're nowhere near as nice the quality as the original stuff because cheap Warner Brothers there it is so I ended up paying for this in total now this is from Japan so remember that with shipping everything else I ended up paying $129.60 which for me is a fairly good price especially considering you never find these really on eBay anymore and when you do everyone grabs them right away now the reason I know that these are not made by Noble Collection is one, obviously they're completely different material, copyright information is slightly different, and I watched a video about this Harry Potter nerd talking about it. But I also texted Peter the Potter Collector and asked him, and he said no, they weren't made by Noble Collection, however he himself did not know who the manufacturers were. So for all we know, maybe they could have been Noble Collection, just licensed only for the exhibition without having their name on it or anything, which doesn't seem really impossible. Or it's just Warner Brothers themselves who made it, you never know. So there I have it guys, it was manufactured for the Japanese exhibition in 2007 and I have them in my hands now in 2024. So it's been a couple of years but um, pretty pretty cool. Yeah, like I said they are slightly worn out but um, you can see them for yourself. How there's some like some marks on the stands. You can see that right there, like right next to Ron Weasley's name, there's the mark. But these are really nice to have. And obviously I'm a huge sucker for Japan. So I think it's a win-win. Like I said, I've never had Ron or Harry's wands before an actual nice replica. So I'm happy with it. I think it's a great expense. Let me know in the comments below if you guys enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed any of the wands and what was your favorite wand? Let me know. I've done lots of research and I can't actually tell if these are wood or not. They could be resin for all I know. They don't smell like wood and that was such a huge thing this guy was talking about. I mean, I don't know and like there's not enough information out there for this stuff to be even like 
researched. I've tried looking on forums. All I see are these being sold for thousands of dollars on eBay. Well, I mean, they're listed for thousands of dollars. No one's actually going to go and buy them for thousands of dollars because no one's mentally insane. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. I watched that video again. And they really do look just like the ones in the, mo the video where he has them with the original boxes and everything. They don't smell like wood. Ugh. That is it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.